Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Brad Winning. And I am Dr. Paul Zalzo. This video is going to discuss what is a total knee replacement. Very common operation, complicated topic. So what's a total knee replacement? A total knee replacement is not a total knee replacement. What? I don't mean to start that way, but it really isn't. When we say total knee replacement, what we're referring to is a resurfacing procedure where we just resurface the ends of the femur and the tibia to replace the knee. Let okay. So when you have an arthritic knee, the ends of the bones start to lose their cartilage. And once all that cartilage is gone, that results in severe pain. And that's when you end up in your orthopedic surgeon's office and say, hey, what's a total knee replacement? Yeah. So when the ends of the bones are replaced with metal, separated by a piece of very hard plastic, that is actually what we're talking about. That's what a knee replacement is. Here's another model now. So here's your, I'm going to show you how to do it. This is a smaller model, so maybe a mm, leprechaun or something like that needs a total knee replacement. We cut the top of the tibia. We make four or five cuts off the femur. We put a cap on the femur. Hopefully you've watched our what is a knee video before this. We put a metal plate on the tibia and then a piece of high density polyethylene goes between the two and that is what we call a total knee replacement. However, it's still your ligaments that live on both sides. Your quadricep tendon, patellar ligament lives in there still too. The muscles, the nerves, they're all yours. It's really just a resurfacing, but we call it a total knee replacement. And the implants are held onto the bone, typically with cement, sometimes uncemented versions, and then your kneecap may or may not be your own, depending on the choice of your surgeon and how arthritic your patella is. Okay, bang. that's a total knee. It's a surgical procedure. It's done, obviously, through a surgical incision to get that in. I want to know what are the risks of this operation. So the main risks of total knee replacement start with the anesthetic. So any type of anesthetic has general risks that range from infection, blood clot, heart attack, stroke, death. Essentially, if you could think it, it could happen, but it likely will not happen. Right. Risks specific to a knee operation, Paul? Well, I, I start like you do. I see the general stuff, heart attack, stroke, death, blood clot, infection, pneumonia, um, stiff knee after. Yeah ongoing pain can happen. Isn't that crazy? I mean, we do a total knee replacement. The main indication is pain. We do it to relieve pain, but one of the complications of this procedure is ongoing pain. How many times does that happen? Unfortunately, about one in five. So one in five people are not totally happy with their knee. And when you go to uh, orthopedic surgery conferences, this is commonly a topic discussed from the podium, the looks good, feels bad knee. So on an x-ray, it looks fine. You even look at the knee, it looks fine. The incision's healed, the knee moves okay, but the patient says I'm so sore. And I think it probably just speaks to the complexity of the knee. It is a complex hinge joint that, that we have become better at replacing, but certainly it's not a perfect operation. Exactly. So yeah, up to one in five people still have pain and then people say, well, why? And we don't know. If, if we knew why, then we would take measures to prevent that from happening. But right now, that is the situation. We don't know why. But having said that, the vast majority of the time, people do great. They get a lot of pain relief, restore form, restore function, get back to their lives. I tell people the number one way to reduce the risk of that happening is to wait as long as you possibly can. I tell people if your pain is so severe that you can walk only a very short distance, the odds of you not having a drastically improved quality of life and reduced pain would be then very low. Right. Don't rush into this. Wait as long as you can. It's made of metal and plastic. If you are young, you will likely wear this out and have to have a revision procedure. A revision knee replacement doesn't work as well as the original procedure because you've lost some bone around there and we need some more specialized implants. So as Dr. Weening said, Try everything you can. If nothing works and your life is ruined because of your knee arthritis, then consider a knee replacement. Excellent. That's all there is to it. Okay. If you have any further questions, please feel free to email us at info at talkingwithdocs.com. And we do have a video that tells you what to do to prepare for your total knee replacement if you've signed up for one, and what to do after your knee replacement when you go home. Thanks. And if you like this video, please like it on YouTube or subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. You are in charge of your own health.